Military officials say they're also taking precautions, including preparing to deploy National Guard troops. South Carolina Guardsmen say part of their strategy includes sharing resources with other states. Uh, we're talking to North Carolina. Uh, we're getting commitments of assets from them if something happens in South Carolina, and they're getting commitments from us for assets if something happens in North Carolina. And in an effort to protect service members and military equipment, defense officials say they plan to move ships away from Florence's path in the Atlantic, where they'll also be in better position to provide disaster relief if needed after the storm. In Washington, Bree Jackson. All right, and now it is time to go over to Chief Meteorologist Frank Johnson with more on how Florence will impact our area. Hey, Frank. And we're still talking about a storm that's like several days away from making landfall across the Carolinas, possibly. I'll let you know more about the forecast and how strong it's going to be coming up. When you're on the go, don't let the weather catch you by surprise. Download the free Storm Tracker 13 mobile app with advanced radar, hour by hour forecasts, and severe weather alerts. It's Hamrick's gigantic fall shoe event. Fila or Avia Athletics, just $16.49. Earth Origins or JBU Jambu Casuals, $39. Easy Spirit Athletics and Casuals, also $39. Ingaro or Aero Cushion Casuals, $20. Designer Handbags, also $20. Crocs Clogs, $19. And our entire stock of Skechers, 20% off. Hamrick's gigantic fall shoe event. You've still got game. At Aetna, we find that inspiring. You wish. But to stay on top of your game takes a plan. That's why Aetna takes a total approach to health and wellness. With Medicare solutions designed to help you age actively. Aetna Medicare Solutions. With counseling and using the nicotine patch and gum, I quit for good. My tip is get help to find the best way for you to quit smoking. Before you have to replace your voice box. You can quit. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. I'm attorney Akeem Anastapula. If you've been injured in an accident, you've got a $5 million judgment for our client who was in a car wreck. Call 1-800-313-AKEEM. I'm Jesse Palmer, former NFL quarterback, TV bachelor, sports announcer, and here's a new one. Now I'm a rooms-to-go guy all the way. Total commitment. I mean, check out the selection for your family room. Sofas, love seats, chairs, recliners, and sectionals, leather or fabric, in a ton of great styles and colors. And you always save, especially on room packages. Throw in easy interest-free financing and fast delivery, you're good to go. Because that's what Rooms to Go is all about. After 9-11, Dan McCready was called to serve his country. In Iraq, he found another calling and was baptized in the waters of the Euphrates River. He came home, started a family and a business. Now I see politicians so concerned with partisan games, they've forgotten who they're supposed to serve. I'll put country over party to get things done. That's why I'll work with Democrats and Republicans to balance the budget and protect Social Security and Medicare. I'm Dan McCready, and I approve this message. Watch Black and Blue Huddle, Saturday night at 11.30. And now, here's your Storm Tracker 13 forecast. Hurricane Florence rapidly went from a tropical storm yesterday morning to a Category 4 hurricane today in a little over 24 hours of rapid intensification. And not only is it going to hold that strength for the next two or three days, it will likely even get a little stronger tomorrow into tomorrow night. Uh, notice the movement on it is a little north of west. That's good news. The further north it can go, the better it will be for us in South Carolina. Right now, Category 4, 140 mile per hour winds. This is an intense hurricane out there in the Atlantic. Moving to the west northwest at 13 miles per hour. It is forecast to get a little faster over the next day or two, but as it approaches the Carolinas, it is going to slow down. That could pose problems for the forecast toward the end of the week as far as timing and rainfall amounts across our area. And it's moving to the west northwest. That motion is expected to continue tonight in through tomorrow as well. Our forecast showing that increase in uh, strength, 100 55 mile per hour winds tomorrow and tomorrow night. That is just underneath category five strength. So this is going to be a monster of a storm out there. As it gets toward Thursday into Friday, as it approaches the Carolina coast, there may be some slight weakening. It's still expected to be 
a Category 4 major hurricane, but not close to Category 5 strength, which is good news. And there's the most recent track uh, into North Carolina. That track has shifted slightly northward since this morning. But you really want to pay attention to the cone of uncertainty, which includes most of South Carolina and all of North Carolina. And there's still a chance that it could curve out to sea. So we'll continue to watch this storm uh, wherever it makes landfall and uh, areas around it are going to be heavily impacted. And it's going to be a large storm as well. So even if the track is up here, we could still possibly see hurricane conditions across parts of South Carolina. Uh, the forecast models are a little tightly packed over the next couple of days, but they diverge again as we get toward Thursday. There's still some uncertainty, but most of them do keep it across North Carolina and a couple of them curve it, keep it off the outer banks, which would be the best case scenario if it stays offshore. We have seen a few showers and thunderstorms across our area today. In fact, some of these storms have been quite strong across the PD. Some of the heavier storms right now across Marlboro County, Scotland County and North Carolina, down across parts of uh, Darlington into Florence County, in and around Florence, heavy rain a lot of thunder and lightning right now back towards Sumter as well. This is slowly pushing on off to the south, so we'll continue to see some heavy rain across parts of our area. That forecast showing the rain around this evening and then late night tonight, things tend to wind down, but it's going to be hot again tomorrow and we'll have the chance for more showers and storms tomorrow, mainly during the afternoon hours. So our forecast tonight, it will stay warm and muggy overnight tonight. A few scattered thunderstorms possible late night tonight. Temperatures getting down into the 70s and it will be another hot, humid day tomorrow and Wednesday, chance for those scattered storms, but it's really Thursday into Friday where we're watching for the potential for hurricane conditions because of Hurricane Florence. We're going to continue to watch that, and we're still two to three days out from this, so there's still time for the track to change. That's why we need to keep uh, prepared and keep watching the storm. A lot of people keeping their fingers crossed for that tonight. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, thanks so much, Frank. And let's head over to meteorologist Amanda Holly, who has more information on the impacts of Florence that we may see. Amanda. That's exactly right. We are still a couple days away from the potential impacts of Hurricane Florence, but uh, things that we look for in a landfalling hurricane with which would be uh, Hurricane Florence would be the potential for light threatening storm surge tornadoes, damaging hurricane force winds and flooding. Now, the better case scenario will be for the eye of Florence to make landfall somewhere north of us, which is what the forecast is calling for at the moment. This would minimize the risk for tornadoes and storm surge for those south of landfall because those two impacts are mainly felt to the right of the eye. However, due to shifts in possible shifts in the track over the coming days, we should all be preparing for those impacts as well. Right now, the National Hurricane Center is giving us a medium chance of seeing hurricane force winds, but the these chances could go up as we get closer. And I do want to mention the potential for flooding this time around will not be compared to Matthew from a couple years ago. Our grounds are able to take about three to eight inches of rain right now because we've had such a dry August. And our Hurricane Center on the News 13 app and online has everything you need to know about Florence. It is jam-packed with our latest forecasts and supply lists, tips for prepping your pets, and even extra coverage about the hurricane's impact from across our state and nation. We do want to make sure you are up to date and staying safe in the storm. And you can also get weather alerts and updated forecasts as they happen on a Storm Tracker 13 app. This is going to give you access to hurricane coverage no matter where you are, even if you leave home. You can still watch the storm move across the area with our radar and watch the storm live through our weather cams. And Bob Jubak is joining us now with a look at what's ahead tonight on News 13 at 6. As uh, you can imagine, coming up at 6, a lot, a lot more live team coverage on Hurricane Florence. That includes more on the mandatory evacuations, the road reversals, school closings, plus how the storm may impact flights to and from Myrtle Beach International Airport. It's all next, all only on News 13 at 6. In nine seconds, a careless driver is going to hit me. I'll be hurt, I'll be out of work, but I won't be afraid. When disaster strikes, I'll call all nines. You may not see it coming, but when disaster strikes, call George Sink Injury Lawyers and all nines. It's Spectrum's best deal days. Get Spectrum TV, internet, and voice from $29.99 a month each. Call 844-559-2999. Spectrum TV with free HD, thousands of free on-demand titles, and access to the free Spectrum TV app to watch live TV at home or on the go. Spectrum TV from $29.99 a month. Spectrum has the fastest internet starting speeds, 100 megabits per second, and enough bandwidth to keep everyone's devices connected with no data caps, plus a free modem.
But wait, there's more when you call 844-559-2999. Spectrum Voice, with unlimited nationwide calling in the U.S., Canada, Mexico, and more. With no additional taxes and fees, all with no contracts. It's Spectrum's best deal days. Get Spectrum TV, Internet, and Voice from $29.99 a month each. Plus, introducing Spectrum Mobile. Ask how you can save up to 40% off your current mobile bill. Call 844-559-2999. Paying too much for glasses is just wrong. Check out the right sale at iMart Express and get a complete pair for $20. That's right, one pair for $20. Need progressives? Two pairs start at just $76.92. Check out the right sale at iMart Express. Lewis Crematory and Funeral Services in Myrtle Beach will be there for you when you need them, offering the compassion, dignity, and respect you deserve. With 50 years' experience in the most affordable cremation and funeral service in our area, Lewis Crematory is a family helping families. You know us for carpet cleaning. Stanley Steamer also cleans air ducts for a cleaner, healthier home. Call now about our air duct cleaning special. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Join the WBTW News 13 This Morning Coffee Club for your chance to win. Every morning, we're giving away a new 13 travel mug and a 12-ounce bag of coffee from Benjamin's Bakery and Cafe. Enter to win at the WBTW.com contest page today. I'm attorney George Sink. I've served all my life. I was a school teacher. I served our country as a Marine. And now George Sink Injury Lawyers serves you. Need help? It's easy. Call all nines. We look forward to serving you. We've been talking a lot about Florence tonight, but it is important to note that we do have some storms in the PD. Yeah, slow moving storms, a lot of heavy rain and lightning. They, they will wind down as we head through the evening hours. All right, sounds good. And you'll be keeping an eye on that. And that is a wrap for us tonight on News 13 at 530. Thank you so much for joining us. More Hurricane Florence coverage continues in less than three minutes. And remember, if you're evacuating, you can still watch a live stream of our newscast on WBTW.com. Plus, we're on Facebook and Twitter. What is this? What? Tires are expensive. Taking care of your car shouldn't take over your life. Meineke can fix your car and get you back to what matters. Now at Meineke, get a basic oil change for just $19.95. Meineke, on with life. Your hard work drives our economy. And if you've been seriously hurt on the job, it's tough on you when you can't do the work you love. If you've been hurt on the job, let us work hard for you. Just call Joy. 215-3100. If you have foot pain, Coastal Podiatry Associates has the largest and most experienced group of board-certified foot surgeons in South Carolina. Coastal Podiatry Associates is accepting new patients from children to adults. Call Coastal Podiatry Associates. Experienced foot care to keep you active. Are you tired of that high electric bill? Get the monkey off your back and call Air Mechanical. Are you tired of that old, inefficient unit costing you money? Get the monkey off your back and call Air Mechanical. We're the area's biggest authorized train dealer and a Santee Cooper trade ally. We offer free estimates and no interest financing on all our units. Let Air Mechanical help get the monkey off your back. Call us today. Liz Calloway here for Conway Ford. Here are your Hot Talk headlines. Have you heard? Conway Ford is expanding, and we need to move these SUVs to make room for construction. And our friendly sales team is ready to help you save big. Check this out. Get 0% for 60 months, plus up to $4,000 off new 2018 Escapes, Edges, and Explorers. Plus, all educators get an additional $500 in appreciation cash. Fords always cost less in Conway. Now that's something hot to talk about. Keep on. What is this? What? Tires are expensive. Taking care of your car shouldn't take over your life. Meineke can fix your car and get you back to what matters. Right now, get free towing when you sign up for Meineke Rewards. Meineke, on with life. When it comes to Chaparral boats, the choice is Sportsman's Choice Marine. Now, your Stormcracker 13 forecast first. Sponsored by Tideland's Health. 
Hurricane Florence, a major hurricane. It intensified today from a minor hurricane this morning to Category 4 this afternoon. And there's a look at the satellite picture. Notice also it's moving a little north of due west. That is good news for us. The further north it moves, the better news it is for South Carolina. Currently 140 mile per hour winds. Category 4 hurricane moving to the west northwest at 13 miles per hour. It should pick up forward speed overnight tonight and tomorrow, but then slow down again as it approaches the Carolinas on Thursday and Friday. Our our forecast right now showing the intensification continuing. In fact, by tomorrow and tomorrow night, 155 mile per hour winds. That is just under Category 5 strength. And the forecast is for it to continue toward the Carolina coast as a major Category 4 hurricane could be pushing in late on Thursday. That means conditions starting to go downhill Wednesday night or early Thursday. Also notice the center of the track, however, has moved a little bit further north. That is good news. I'll talk more about the forecast and what impacts we may see from the storm coming up in a few more minutes. News 13 at 6 starts now. We are expecting more wind than we had with Hugo and more water than we had with Matthew. Governor McMaster wants people along the South Carolina coast to get out of the possible path of Hurricane Florence. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Boone. Hello, I'm Bob Jubeck. Thanks for joining us. And first tonight at 6, we have live team coverage on the state and local response to Hurricane Florence. And we've got you covered tonight on how the governor's mandatory evacuation order will affect traffic along the coast and into the PD, plus a look tonight at the resources that local governments will have in place before and after the storm. But first, Governor Henry McMaster today called for the evacuation of eight coastal counties ahead of Hurricane Florence. Starting at noon tomorrow, the plan is right now that lanes from the coast will be reversed to head toward the Midlands. South Carolina well, DOT has coming. already sent 35 <coughs> crews to the coast to help with evacuations, and SLED will provide security so for those areas. It's Governor McMaster says that each Look, hurricane is unique. He says this storm should not be taken lightly. We know it's going to hit somewhere to have a dramatic impact on South Carolina, whether if it, if it hits closer to North Carolina, then we still know that throughout South Carolina we will have heavy rains, we'll have heavy winds, we're going to have power lines down. People, we need to prepare. We still have time now to prepare. We there are 1,600 National Guard troops on duty right now. The state's adjutant general expects that to nearly double, though, as the storm gets closer. The governor's executive order also closed all public schools in our part of South Carolina until further notice. The only school district that we know that is not closed yet for tomorrow is Chesterfield County. And that also goes for all state offices in those same counties that you see in red there. All colleges and tech schools around here also will be closed tomorrow, and we have posted all this information online at WBTW.com. Earlier this afternoon, Horry County increased its operations to OPCON 2. This means a disaster or emergency is imminent. News 13's Maggie Lorenz continues our team coverage now. She's live at the Emergency Operations Center with an update on what the county is doing right now and what you need to know if you evacuate. If you live in any part of the three coastal evacuation zones, A, B, or C, you will be under mandatory evacuation starting tomorrow at noon. Now, you should know your zone by now, but you can go to the South Carolina Emergency Management Division's app or their website to get that information. You just plug in your address, and then from there, it'll tell you which zone you're in. Those zones are based on storm surge. You are not ordered to evacuate based on wind or rain. Basically, you're just going to want to head as far west and south as possible. I will be honest with you, when we designed those zones six or seven years ago, I never thought in my lifetime I'd ever be sitting here telling you we need to evacuate zones A, B, and C. This afternoon, the county and American Red Cross said an official list of shelter locations will be announced tomorrow and that you will have to bring your own bedding and personal needs to those shelters. They do not accept pets in Coast RTA. They'll take people to shelters who do not have transportation. But the Red Cross did provide the shelters for Zone A. Those are Aner Elementary, Conway High School, Loris High School, North Myrtle Beach High, Palmetto Bays Elementary, and Whittemore Park Middle School. Take this seriously because I'm telling you, we have a serious event before us. 
And as for re-entry, Chairman Mark Lazarus says that will really depend on how much damage Horry County sees and how long that damage lasts. And to get back into Horry County, you will need some sort of identification. That can be a driver's license. And you will also need some form of proof of where you live. That can either be an apartment rental agreement or a tax bill or a utility bill. And of course, we've posted all of this information to our website, WBTW.com. Reporting live tonight in Conway for News 13, I'm Maggie Lorenz. Of course, a lot of people probably won't evacuate, but by this time tomorrow, thousands of people on the Grand Strand, locals and visitors alike, probably will and follow the governor's mandatory evacuation order. News 13's Chris Spiker joins us live in Conway at a crucial part of the evacuation plan. Chris. Good evening, Bob. This is the intersection of State Highway 544 and U.S. Highway 501, and it's where one lane reversal will start tomorrow. Now, again, this all begins at noon tomorrow. Traffic on 501 will travel northbound from here at the 544 intersection to U.S. Highway 378, which is about four miles away up in Conway. There will also be a lane reversal on 501 from the end of the Conway bypass near Ainer all the way to State Highway 576 in Marion. This will help coastal residents in Ori and Georgetown counties evacuate by eventually reaching roads like Interstate 95. The state also announced lane reversals on Interstate 26 from Charleston to Columbia. Now it's been very busy here at the intersection of 544 and 501, which isn't unusual for this time of day in the early evening and late afternoon, but it will be much busier here as the mandatory evacuation order begins. Reporting live in Conway, Chris Spiker, News 13. All right, thanks, Chris. And Myrtle Beach International Airport's exempt from the mandatory evacuation order. Airport officials expect flights to continue as normal as long as weather conditions allow. Passengers, though, are advised to check with their individual airline for the status of any flight this week. North Myrtle Beach prepares for Hurricane Florence. City leaders met earlier today to declare a state of emergency. News 13, Sina Gabrab spoke with the mayor about how the city gets ready for the storm. Sina. City Council held an emergency meeting earlier today to pass an ordinance declaring that state of emergency. Now the mayor told me the city is bracing for what could be its worst storm ever. We need to take it serious um, and we need to be prepared and that's exactly what the city of North Myrtle Beach is doing. Mayor Marilyn Hatley says public works crews have been spread across the city all day working to prepare for Florence. So we do make sure that all the ditches are open, all the pipes are clean, all the catch basins don't have trash or debris on them. Catley says Governor McMaster called her yesterday to discuss the approaching storm and resources the state will send. He was just reassuring uh, that the state is preparing and is ready for any emergencies that we have, any catastrophes or damage. She urges anyone who lives in the North Myrtle Beach area to heed the governor's mandate. We really want you to evacuate. When um, hurricane force winds becomes 40 or more, our emergency um, personnel cannot come and assist you. And the mayor wants to remind everyone that you will need proof of residence to re-enter the city after evacuating. So she advises everyone to take ID or a water bill or a property tax bill so that you'll be able to get back into the city. Live in North Myrtle Beach for News 13, I'm Sina Gebra-Ab. South Carolina DHEC says the owners of private dams should begin lowering water levels today ahead of any heavy rainfall from Hurricane Florence. Today, the PD Area Boy Scouts drained a foot and a half of water from their lake in Darlington County. And so this just allows a, a continuous level of water going downstream now before the hurricane comes so that if there is a, a major issue with any dam, um, the inundation zone will, will be safe. The PD Boy Scouts, meanwhile, say they will allow Darlington County fire crews to use their boats in the event of possible water rescues. They've asked to borrow our two canoe trailers. Each of them is outfitted with 10 canoes, uh, paddles, life jackets, and they will be stationed in Dovesville and in Lamar uh, so that the fire crews there can affect any water rescues that, that need to take place. Florence County Emergency Management hopes for the best, but prepares for the worst as Hurricane Florence inches closer. Officials there say they've already completed their to-do list.
List items are topping off generators and trusting emergency radios and making sure all of their equipment is updated and working properly. Earlier today, they also discussed evacuation plans. They have five shelters available with the ability to house 5,000 evacuees. They've rolled out a new emergency alert system as well that's called Everbridge that people who live in the area can sign up for to receive notifications during and also after the storm. They're also collaborating with other first responders to make sure that they're in sync with recovery efforts. As the storm strengthens and gets a little bit closer to the Carolinas, they also urge people who live in the area to start preparing now instead of waiting to the very end to get their family situated. Get the necessary um, things that your family may need if the storm, storm go ahead says and hit as early as Thursday. Um, make sure you got uh, food, water, um, medical supplies, anything that you know that's a necessity for your family, we need you to go ahead and plan for it and get that those things done. And we have all the information about evacuation centers, also preparation checklist online at WBTW. Com. Well, as Hurricane Florence does continue to move closer to the Carolinas, this storm brings back memories of a past hurricane to some. Next on News 13, Grand Strand locals who went through Hugo hope Florence won't be a repeat. And Frank's going to run down the brand new numbers on Florence. Plus, he has your most accurate forecast. All this and more when News 13 at 6 continues. It's Premier Week on Wheel. Don't adjust your sets because this is what you get when you spend the entire summer working out. And we're celebrating teachers. <laughs> Tonight at 7 on WBTW News 13. This is Jeopardy. Here is your host, Alex Trebek. It's a new season of Jeopardy, and things are going to be very different. You bearded here first. Tonight at 7.30 on WBTW News 13. Want a car as successful as you are? Then get the all-new Honda Accord on clearance. The 2018 North American Car of the Year. Get more power with a fuel-efficient turbocharged engine. More sophistication, stylishly redesigned with next-generation features. And more of what matters. Get more of the best with the all-new Honda Accord. Right now, get a 2018 Accord on clearance for just $249 a month. Don't settle for less than a Honda. I didn't. See your Honda dealer of the Carolinas for clearance pricing today. It's Hamrick's gigantic fall shoe event. Fila or Avia Athletics, just $16.49. Earth Origins or JBU Jambu Casuals, $39. Easy Spirit Athletics and Casuals, also $39. Ingaro or Aero Cushion Casuals, $20. Designer handbags, also $20. Crocs clogs, $19. And our entire stock of Skechers, 20% off. Hamrick's gigantic fall shoe event. Long-term care was going to be expensive for my mother, and she wanted to stay at home. Her independence was important, but bathing safely was my number one concern. Brighton specializes in bathroom remodeling, and there are two projects which we perform quite frequently for those aging in place. We can take out your old bathtub and install a new SureStep walk-in shower in its place, or we can install a walk-in bathtub with hydrotherapy jets. Brightens installed a walk-in tub in my mother's home, which gave her a safe option for bathing. The water therapy helped her muscles and joints and gave her much needed energy around the house and yard. To learn more about aging in place, Call Brighton's at 804-6764 and I will mail you a free copy of our safe bathing packet that is filled with information and pictures. But to get your free copy of our safe bathing packet, you must call now at 804-6764 or go online to brightons.com. Wholesale flooring in North Myrtle Beach, a better way to buy floors. As Hurricane Florence is now a Category 4 hurricane and making its way to the U.S. coast, the damage it could bring is being compared to Hurricane Hugo. It's kind of doubtful if that's going to happen, but News 13's Julie Calhoun spoke with people who wrote out Hugo and what they're doing to prepare for Florence. And while people are preparing for Hurricane Florence, I talked to two people who were here during Hurricane Hugo, and they caught all the destruction on film nearly 30 years ago. Darren Miller is prepping his house and getting ready to evacuate. He was 19 when Hugo hit and captured the destruction. The Category 4 hurricane left in Garden City and Merle's Inlet. Houses that were uh, taken off of their pilings 
uh, and thrown across the marsh uh, with the storm surge, carried them right across the marsh up where uh, Sarah Jays is now. One image that will stay with him was throughout all the damage, someone put up one chair facing the ocean. Kind of the contrast to me, I sat in the chair and just looked at the ocean and watched the sunset because it had gotten late in the day and just kind of brought it all home at that point. Photographer Jack Thompson has recorded the aftermath of several hurricanes that hit the Grand Strand and the 140 mile per hour winds from Hugo was all too familiar. When Hurricane Hazel came in 1954, and yes, I was here. He took a before and after photo of the Surfside Pier when Hazel hit. He did the same thing for Hugo at the Garden City Pier. Nothing left except the pilings of the pier and that is the power of Hugo. It's something that you would just think would be a nightmare and you'd wake up and it was a dream. And make sure you stick with us online and on air at WBTW.com because we will be keeping you updated with everything Hurricane Florence. Reporting in Surfside Beach for News 13, I'm Julie Calhoun. And right now, Frank is here with the latest on Florence as uh, we will be looking for an update later in this evening. Yeah, a powerful storm category for it to be taken seriously, and it is tracking toward the Carolinas. I'll let you know what sort of impacts we will see from the storm coming up next. News 13 is sponsored by Benjamin Franklin Plumbing. If there's any delay, it's you we pay. I'm attorney Akeem Anastapula. If you've been injured in an accident, you've got a $5 million judgment for our client who was in a car wreck. Call 1-800-313-AKEEM. The world never stops. It's constantly changing, evolving, moving forward. And so are we. Introducing Spectrum Mobile. Built on America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. Combined with our ultra-fast nationwide Wi-Fi network. Choose from our unlimited data plan for $45 a line. Or our buy the gig plan for $14 a gig. Call 833-202-7283. Then enjoy a faster, better connection with streaming, surfing, gaming, or whatever you're into. All with unlimited talk and text and no contracts. Call 833-202-7283. The best network, the best devices, the best value. Switch to Spectrum Mobile today with our unlimited data plan for $45 a line and save up to 40% on your mobile bill. Or get our buy the gig plan and pay as you go for $14 a gig, all with unlimited talk and text. Call 833-202-7283 or visit SpectrumMobile.com. With only a kite, a house key, and wet hamstring, Benjamin Franklin captured lightning in a bottle. Over 260 years later, with a little resourcefulness, ingenuity, and grit, we're not only capturing energy from the sun and wind, we're storing it. As the nation's leader in energy storage, we're ensuring Americans have the energy they need whenever they need it. This is our era. This is America's energy era. Next Era Energy. Kindness, courtesy, and honesty since 1974. Kenco Homes now has three locations, Florence, Lake City, and a new Sumter location. Kenco has three bedroom units starting at 29.9 and four bedroom at 46.9. Stop by Kenco in Lake City, Florence, and now in Sumter. Join Aaron and me. Weekdays for News 13 this morning. And now, here's your Storm Tracker 13 forecast. Hurricane Florence, major hurricane. It became a Category 3 at 11 o'clock. Then the hurricane hunters went in at lunchtime, and it was immediately upgraded to a Category 4. Strong storm got very fast very quickly overnight last night and early this morning, and it's going to continue to increase over the next 24 hours. Right now, winds at 140 miles per hour, moving off to the west-northwest at 13 miles per hour. That track is going to continue tonight and for the next couple of days, and that's relatively good news that we're going to get some northward movement on this storm. The bad news is it's going to continue to increase in strength by tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night, 155 mile per hour sustained winds. That's just below Category 5 strength. But as it gets closer to the Carolina coast, there should be a little more wind shear. That may weaken it just a little bit, but don't expect a big collapse in strength. We're still expecting Category 4 as it moves in toward the Carolinas. Uh, keep in mind, don't pay attention to this exact track. I like to leave it on there because it's easier to tell whether the trend is north or south. Right now, the trend is to the north, but you do want to pay attention to the cone because anywhere that's still in the cone right now has the possibility of this thing making a direct hit. So that's what we're watching with this. And as far as uh, the computer models, they have a widespread as we get toward Thursday, and that's where the, the trouble lies. We're still three days or so away from this, and there's still a lot of uncertainty, not only on the path, 
but on how fast it gets there. Some computer models really slow it down and don't bring it in, in until Friday or even Saturday. So there's still a lot of questions with this, uh, but does look like most of the computer models are across parts of North Carolina and even a few of them keeping it out to sea. As far as our chance for tropical storm force winds, it's looking pretty good across southeastern parts of North Carolina. Those, those chances for those strong winds decrease a little bit, but even staying pretty high across Georgetown County, it looks like most of us will get at least tropical storm force winds. Hurricane force winds, the greatest chances are between Cape Lookout and Cape Fear, and they go down as you go further off to the south. Also watching for the potential for tornadoes, but that will occur off to the north of wherever it makes landfall. So as long as the landfall is north of us, that tornado threat will stay north as well. And the damaging sur storm surge, that is generally off to the north of where it makes landfall as well. So right now, the worst storm surge looks like it will be across North Carolina. As far as rainfall amounts, we will be looking for the potential for heavy rain, especially closer to and in North Carolina. That's where we could see seven or eight inches of rain. The further south, it's going to be a little lighter, but even two to four inches of rain could cause a few problems across our area. And speaking of rain, we actually have some rain out there right now, a line of strong thunderstorms right now across parts of Marlboro into Dillon County, moving into Robeson County, heavy rain, thunder and lightning. These will persist for the next hour or two through the evening hours. It looks like it is starting to push out of Florence right now, but some areas could see some heavier rain. The forecast showing that rain uh, diminishing throughout the evening hours and then clearing out overnight tonight, but it's going to stay hot and humid tomorrow. We'll likely see another round of storms in the afternoon, but that rain tomorrow will not be part of the hurricane. As far as tonight, partly cloudy, a few scattered storms around this evening, low to middle 70s for our overnight lows. Tomorrow, another day like today, same thing on Wednesday. We're gonna have two more days to really prepare for this with just scattered late day storms. It will stay hot and humid, but if Florence heads our way, the uh, target time right now is Thursday, perhaps into Friday. That's when we have the potential for hurricane conditions and even major hurricane conditions, especially if that track shifts back down to the south. But right now, the further north it goes, the best news. That's the better news for us. And then at 11, we'll see if the brand new numbers show that trend continuing. Exactly. All right, thanks, Frank. On the way now, the new Blitz rankings with a familiar name sticking around at the top. And with Hurricane Florence possibly coming this way, CCU prepares for a Wednesday game. It's all next in Derek Sports. Sparks Toyota is all about providing exceptional value and savings to our customers. That's why, with every new or used Toyota, you become a Sparks preferred customer. With our Sparks customer program, you'll receive a lifetime powertrain warranty, lifetime 10% discount on parts and service, 24 hour roadside assistance, two years, no cost maintenance, and more. The preferred customer program can save you thousands. For more details, click sparkstoyota.com and come see us today at Sparks Toyota, where the dealer is always in. After 9 11, Dan McCready was called to serve his country. In Iraq, he found another calling and was baptized in the waters of the Euphrates River. He came home, started a family and a business. Now I see politicians so concerned with partisan games, they've forgotten who they're supposed to serve. I'll put country over party to get things done. That's why I'll work with Democrats and Republicans to balance the budget and protect Social Security and Medicare. I'm Dan McCready, and I approve this message. saving style. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. Hi, this is Katie at Jed Coon Chevrolet. Shop with us online or schedule an appointment to make your next vehicle purchase smooth and simple. With payments as low as $129 a month, we are your pre-owned vehicle headquarters. And we work with all budget. If we don't have it, we'll find it. And if you're a fan of classic cars, come see our collection. So come visit us and let's build a relationship. Why go anywhere else? Your number one Chevy volume dealer on the Grand Strand. Jack Coon Chevrolet. Find new roads. When you're on the go, don't let the weather catch you by surprise. Download the free Storm Tracker 13 mobile app with advanced radar, hour by hour forecasts, and severe weather alerts. When it comes to Chaparral boats, the choice is Sportsman's Choice Marine. 
the latest from the WBTW News 13 Sports Desk. Good evening, everyone, and welcome in for sports this past week in high school football. Didn't really see much of a change at the top. As some of the area's top teams really just flexed their muscles and continued to show why they belong among the best, not only in the area, but in the state. So let's take a look at sports director Chris Parks and my own week four ranking. So here's a look at our similar top fives. Dylan maintains the top spot in our polls. They have outscored opponents 81 to nothing in their last two wins. Lamar is sitting in second, followed by that high-powered Myrtle Beach offense. Then it's rival Hartsville. Number five is where Chris and I finally disagree. Chris has undefeated North Myrtle Beach, while I have Coach Thompson and Carver's Bay. Check out the full list on the WBTW website under the Blitz tab. And sports is so f is far from exempt from the potential impact of Hurricane Florence as the Coastal football team has moved its game against Campbell from Saturday to Wednesday at 2 Eastern time. The Shots will play at Barker Lane Stadium in Bowie's Creek, North Carolina. Coach Mowgli has said that the team is prepared and has a plan but that the school's biggest priority is to keep students and their families safe. The Shots will not return home now until October 13th against ULM. Let's head out to the legendary Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Today's Brickyard 400 regular season champ Kyle Busch having some fun with pace car driver Dale Jr. Seven to go. Not so much fun for Jeffrey Earnhardt and Landon Castle, both with hard contact. But check out the impact here by Castle. Really hard into the wall. Both would walk away from this crash on their own. Two laps to go. Denny Hamlin and Southern 500 winner Brad Keselowski battling it out. Keselowski pulls ahead. Last week he won his first Southern 500. And today he won his first time at Indy. Playoff field is set now with Alex Bowman and Jimmy Johnson taking those final two spots. And it was a soggy day in Pennsylvania for the final round of the BMW Championship. And while Katz might not like water, doesn't seem to bother Tiger that much as he gets the nice chip in on hole six for a birdie. He did qualify for next week's championship. Great run today by Keegan Bradley walking this birdie putt in to tie Justin Rose on 18. Now with all the pressure on his shoulders, Rose needed this par putt to drop to get the win. But it rims out, and we're heading to a playoff. Rose missed another par putt in that playoff. That put a little pressure on Bradley, but this, is a, this was an easy putt. He sinks the short one. His first PGA event tour win since 2012. Next up, the Tour Championship next week. That's going to be going in Atlanta. And Monday Night Football will return tonight, and that means John Gruden's move from the booth to the field will be complete as Chucky will lead the Khalil Mackless Raiders against one of the NFC's best Los Angeles Rams. That gets going at 10-20. And before that, Sam Darnold will take the field as the youngest Jets starting QB ever to face the Lions. That game is going right around 7-10. Catch both those games on ESPN. So an exciting day and pre pretty e eager to see, I guess, how Coastal does against Campbell now on Wednesday. Yeah, that'll be interesting to watch. Thank <laughs> you so much, Derek. And a lot of weather storylines, including storms right now. Yeah, we've got heavy rain right now across parts of the PD into North Carolina, in and around Laurenburg, it tore, hit, approaching Dillon right now. These are all moving off to the east toward Robson County, also across parts of Florence County, moving into Marion County. A lot of thunder and lightning, some heavy rain, but it will be winding down this evening. That's good news, and of course, you're keeping us updated on Florence. Uh, Facebook Live is at 8 o'clock, and we'll be back at 11. Very good. Thanks mm -hmm. a lot. And thank you for joining us for Coverage You Can Count On. CBS is coming up next. We'll see you again tonight at 11 right here on WBTW. Accurate Weekend Forecast on WBTW News 13. I bought a car nine days ago. I drove nine minutes. Nine seconds later, I was in a car wreck. I'm attorney George Singh. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, just call 843-ALL-9s. I'm glad I called 843-ALL-9s. Medicare cards are changing with new, more secure numbers. But con artists, they never change. They'll always try to steal your medical identity. So what can you do? Guard your card, just like a credit card. Don't give your Medicare number over the phone or email. And remember, Medicare never calls unless you've asked them to. To find more ways to guard your card, go to medicare.gov slash fraud. Don't let your guard down. During Ford SUV season, find out why more people come back to Ford than any other brand. Here's a reason. We've got room. And here's another. Waze says it's faster to take the side streets. Perfect. And by the way, Ford has won more J.D. Power Initial Quality Awards than any other brand. Now get zero for 60 plus 2,000 cash back on Escape, Edge, and Explorer. And eligible educators get an additional 500 bonus cash on select vehicles at your Carolina Ford dealer. When something's just right, it's hard to find but easy to recognize. You know it's just the perfect fit. At South State Bank, that's us. 
the sweet spot between a big bank and a small one. So you get the services you need, combined with the service you need too. High tech and high touch. Sophisticated and simple. Right here at South State. Are you tired of that high electric bill? Get the monkey off your back and call Air Mechanical. Are you tired of that old, inefficient unit costing you money? Get the monkey off your back and call Air Mechanical. We're the area's biggest authorized train dealer and a Santee Cooper trade ally. We offer free estimates and no interest financing on all our units. Let Air Mechanical help get the monkey off your back. Call us today. <laughs> After your accident, who did you call? I called George Saint. Why did you call? To get the money we deserved. What's the number? Oh, nice. Did you get a lot of money? More than I ever expected. I got a big check fast. You got to get George. Call all nice. WBTW News 13, local coverage you can count on.